I got no camera girl today. It's just Chef Buck. And I am going to cook up, I'm going to bake up, I'm going to whip up a super easy avocado tostada breakfast. Oh my god. I just gotta pull the muscle talking. Cause I, I gotta get in better shape. Now a tostada is just a tortilla, you know, that has been toasted. This is a white tortilla right here. And I've toasted up um, some white tortillas. You see, they're not very pretty. The white ones don't toast as beautiful as I would like. You could do it with uh, yellow uh, corn tortillas, but you know these are frozen, and these are thawed. So I'm using these. Now, Camera Girl, she likes to use these. You know they're already pre-toasted. You know they're tostadas already because they've already been toasted. But these have been fried. You know if you look at the uh, saturated fat on here, it's 10 percent. 10% is too much. This last year between Mexico and, uh, you know, being quarantined has been just a cholesterol a palooza for me. So I gotta cut down. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna bake these in the oven. Saturated fat is 0%. 0%. I gotta cut down on fat. And avocados have a lot of fat. But it's the good fat. The DHL fat. Which is... Is that like delivery fat? DHL is probably not it. Or is it LDS fat? I think, uh, or is that the bad fat? It's got something to do with the Mormons. Avocado is good fat, I read on the internet. According to scientists, this is what you should be eating. This is all Stephen Hawking ate, was this and veggie burgers. But when you buy uh, avocados, get it with the little nubbin. It'll have the little, little thingy bob on here, you know, just like, oopsie. But see, it comes off, but you want to make sure that it's, that it's in there when you buy it. Because if it's not there, then, then spirits can get in. You know, bad spirits, like a bad evil Manitou. Back to our program. So to toast up your tortillas into tostadas, you just want to lay them out on a very thin baking sheet. And then you will slide them in the oven. And we'll let them bake away at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. You know, it's going to take about, I don't know how long it's going to take. We're going to see. I want to say 10 or 15 minutes, and we're going to watch them like a hawk. Uh, flip them once, but you want to make sure that they are uh, well done, well toasted. Uh, if you take them out too, too early, then they're just chewy. You know, they might seem like they're done, but you got to overdo them a little bit. And like I said, it's not going to look as pretty when it's overdone if you're using the white corn tortillas, but, if, but you got to do it. Anyway, we'll see how long it takes. Beep, 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 beep. So I've had my tostadas going for about 15 minutes, and I gave them a flip about five minutes ago, because you're going to want to turn them over at least once. And these are very crispy. They're not leathery at all. You want to make sure they're nice and hard, almost ready to break apart. But they'll even get crisper uh, once they're sitting out for a little bit. Now this recipe calls for very few ingredients. I got a toasted tortilla, an avocado, a green onion, a little bit of sun-dried tomato. I'm going to use a combination of the uh, regular old and some smoked sun-dried tomatoes. And this, which is the everything topping like a bagel topping, it's basically just a bunch of seeds and salt and garlic and blah 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 powder, but super duper tasty. This is fantastic on salads as a, uh, an exfoliant, maybe? What's not an exfoliant? I mean, gravel's an exfoliant. So now I'm gonna take my avocado and give it a circumferential slice right through the middle of the universe, exposing the Brad Pitt. Give it a whack, pull it out. That sort of sounded improper. Then we will demi-toss our avocado. Oops, look how mushy that is. That's what you want, ideally, a nice ripe avocado like that. I'm not giving you the finger. We'll just peel off our skin. We'll give it a little chop, 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 chop which I don't even have to do because this is so soft. Now I don't even have to add any salt in here because there's going to be plenty of salt in my little topping. And you can put as much as you want on here, but go heavy. Now I got my sun-dried tomatoes here. Like I said, I'm going to use some smoked, but not that many because this is such a strong flavor. And then a few of the non-smoked ones. And I love the smoked sun-dried tomatoes, but it's just such a strong smoky flavor. I don't want to overdo it. So I'm going to chop them up and all this is to taste. You know, I'll have a recipe uh, written out down below and over at MyFoodChannel.com. You can go check out. But really, this is all very adjustable. Now, i got a green onion here, and I'm going to go ahead and chop up the bottom of my green onion. And I'm going to go ahead and throw the bottom in with my mix. And then I'll mix this together very well. 
Now, if you weren't going to use this right away, you'd want to add some uh, lemon juice in here uh, to preserve the beautiful green luxuriousness of your avocado. But since I'm going to be wolfing this down pretty quick, I'm not going to add any lemon juice. Okay, we got it nice and creamy and dreamy. And that's what you want it to look like right there. A less than enthusiastic guacamole. So now I will take my toasted tostada, which is why it's a tostada, and I will kerplunk some of my stuff on there. Now usually Camera Girl and I, we will make two of these. From one avocado, we'll get two of these little tostada avocado breakfast dealios. But I'm just going to go ahead, since it's just me today, I'm just going to go crazy and pile it all on here. Because if I don't eat it on this tostada shell, I'm just going to be eating it right out of the bowl. Now I'm going to take the green onion top and give that a little slicey slice. And I'll decorate the top of my thingamabobby jig. Boom, boom, boom. Now if you wanted to, you could put some of the sun-dried tomatoes on top. You know, give it a sprinkle linkle like that. We will take one little lonely tomato, put that on the tippity top. And that way it'll look um, like that. In fact, I'll go ahead and I'll take one of them and I'll lay it like this. And then that way my art school teacher will be proud of me. Look how delicioso and healthy that looks. And it's so simple. It is so good. Can you hear that crunch? Definitely give that recipe a try. I'll have it written down below if you want to take a peek at it. Head over to MyFoodChannel.com you know, and check out all the recipes down there. There's a link down there. Thanks for watching and subscribing. We'll see you next weekend. Bye-bye.